Yeah, so it's like at the end of the day, I was fucking. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me on Crip. Good morning, happy Monday. What's up? What's up? What's up? Back kicking it with my mug driving in here, recording. Really out of line. <laughs> I'm so out of line. But anyways, y'all see the uh, title of the video. First of all, if you new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you new, if you not new, baby, you already know what time it is. It is gang gang over here. And it's another video for y'all. But yes, I was reading. Uh, well, I was just reading and being online, being nosy like everybody else, just like y'all. I know y'all seen what Shawnee y'all here doing in these streets. <laughs> I said, what is Shawnee doing? Girl. Oh, my God. I was so done. But not this man is going on social networks talking about social media networks and people platforms talking about um he was basically get money to drop the deal off i said oh when did men start doing that i mean like i know men been dropping d off and getting paid it's a real thing but when did y'all start getting on social media and doing tell offs i was like dang i don't know that's a little much that is a little much but shawnee really surprised me baby because i thought she was the good one on her on that show I just knew everybody else was the problem and Shawnee wasn't. She was the boss and she was the one that was really like grown grown. I was like, oh, let me find out you a free girl. So it's like, at the end of the day, I was fucking. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me on crib. So at the so end you of can't, the day, you can't, you can't. Sh men do the okay, same thing on. women do. I tell you right one now. Second. Okay? <laughs> one second. One second. Let me ask you a question. Thing. Was you going to the house? I was going everywhere. What well, where, 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 the house here? Listen, listen. We <laughs> she gonna be mad to the motherfucker when she see this. But at the end of the day, is Shani O'Neal? She know what's up. I fucked her like two weeks before she got married to the pastor. Oh she my was god! Like, she you gotta like, get her divorced. Stop wait. it! No, she told me she was like, I need some good dick before I go down the aisle. I said, Crip, I got you. What you got for me? Oh my she was god. like, wait, wait, I got, I got no, listen. You. She Hold was on. like, I got ten thousand for you. I said, that's not enough. When I pulled up, she gave me fifty. So. She was trying to cop. She gave dick. you fifty. High five, racks. high five, baby, yeah. high five. You got it, like. Let me find out, cause baby, you fooled me. You always, but real talk with friends, you always got. Like the good girls, then you got the girls that you know you what you see is what you get. That's me. What you see is what you get. I don't never portray to be no good girl. I baby, I cause accept them or no. You know what I'm saying? But um Shawnee fooled me because I really thought Shawnee was a good girl. I don't know about y'all. I definitely did. I was like, man, she got her stuff together, she know what she want. And she probably still do know what she wants. She knew she wanted to hit something else before she married Pastor Keon. I was so done. I wonder if her and Pastor Keon, like, didn't have sex before marriage. Maybe that's why she did that. And I'm not trying to give no excuses for her because she is wrong. She is definitely wrong. So I'm not giving no excuses. I'm just asking a question. I wonder if one of the problems, because, I mean, being abstinent before marriage is a real thing. It's a real hard thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you've already been sexually active. It's different if you take a version. But if you already been sexually active, baby, you already been getting some. And you go from not getting some to having to wait to get some until you get married. And we don't know when y'all going to get married. Like, ooh, that's a whole nother thing. So, for me, it's giving. She wasn't getting the D before they walked that out. And that's really the T. Like, oh, did you hear me? I was a poet all day. Bet know it. But yes, I really feel like she just didn't give Pastor Keon none before they got married. That's what I feel like. Something wasn't right, clearly. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, she is wrong. And we tend to go really hard on the men when men do stuff like this. So y'all better go hard on Shawnee. She is out of line. Girl. Not you was marrying a pastor. And this gotta be embarrassing for him. Like, ooh, especially for it to hit social media the way it's hitting. Because all these dang on um, comments them comments told that man up in that interview though i was like dang y'all go watch no jumper he went on no jumper with the girl that he messed with now and i guess he was messing with then 
because she sounded like she was definitely in for the money. She she just looked like a groupie. Like I was just mm. she looks very much groupie vibe, if that's the word. Definitely groupie vibe. But um yes, Shiny, uh, what are you doing, ma'am? I low key like respected her out of everybody on social media. All them dang on reality shows. I felt like Shawnee was the realest. She definitely was the boss of the show, but I thought, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not you out here being pretty good. What's well, really the tea? I don't know, but I bet her and Pastor Keon probably waited. If Pastor Keon is really pastoring, like he say, he definitely made her wait for it. Um, instead of them having sex and then getting married. That was probably the proper thing to do. But I ain't gonna lie, it's giving. We don't know. <laughs> At this point, we is giving. We don't know. Dang. But yeah, I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, drop down in the comments. But yes, I hope y'all have a wonderful Monday today. Just make sure you start your week out with God. Start your every day out with God. Pray with them. You know what I'm saying? Pray to them. Tell them what your intentions are for the week. What you trying to see this week? What you trying to do this week? Who you trying to forgive this week? Who you trying not to uh, be mean to this week? Cause baby, this a, I have like uh, I have a lot going on. I'm at the buzz down like what's been going on with me. I just have not been really like in a space of me just feeling like telling all my business. Um, plus, like sometimes when you are not comfortable with where you're at, like sharing it is just not always something that I want to do. Um, but I don't know. It's been on my heart. God is like, you need to express like the things that's been going on with you. Even my walk with God. So I will drop some of them videos. I'm really just super tired. I really ain't even matching today. I really just threw some stuff on. I did. I was like, you know what? Ain't nobody up here. And I ain't trying to catch nobody. Baby. And really, I don't know about y'all. But when I look ugly, ugly is when I get the most action. But when I really try to put myself together, I don't be getting no place sometimes. Like, ooh. So I just really kind of quit that. I just, you know, come beautiful, show up as I am. <laughs> but yeah, it's drop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about Shiny. Go hard on Shiny. Because y'all go hard on these men. <clears throat> We'd be so quick to go hard on these men. Let them do some mess like this and be out here paying some girl for some twat. Y'all gonna be, oh, he's a trick. She is too. She's just a, uh, a woman. But definitely that. <laughs> I honestly was surprised when she started uh, dating past the Keon. I ain't gonna lie. I was wondering, like, what type of spaces? Because you gotta be in the same type of spaces and places. So, what was past the Keon doing? Like, where was he at to meet Shiny? Like, that's what I really want. I know that's nosy, but I do want to know. Like, where was you at? What was you doing? <sighs> On the cool. But yes, I am at my destination. So I want everybody to just have a wonderful day. Drop down in the comments and tell me what you think about the whole shiny ordeal. Tell me if you, well, she's wrong. I was going to say, tell me if you think she's wrong. But I'm sure it's going to be a couple slip buckets that's going to be like, nah, she is right. She's supposed to do that. Like, no, she's not. Definitely not supposed to do stuff like that. Definitely not. So drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think about that. Tell me if you think dude is lying. Tell me if you think, or tell me why you think he out here even talking. Like, why are you even saying all of that, sir? Why he bring this girl with him to get her pom-poms out? Like, all of that is weird vibes for me. I'm just tired of the world that we live in where everybody's telling everything. It's a tell-all world. It's annoying. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And put God first. And peace.